Welcome back. Uh, last lecture we are discussing uh, about the Heisenberg uncertainty principle. So, we will give in this lecture we are going to give an alternate proof for Heisenberg uncertainty principle. So, there are two main operators in physics what we do is that f with the state function if you are acting this is f of f of x these two are the fundamental operator which is equal to f prime of x. One thing easy to notice is that uh, if we look at uh, the inner product of p f of g this is equal to integral minus infinity to infinity uh, x f of x then g x bar d x which is minus infinity to infinity f of x and x is a real number. So, we can write this as d x which is equal to minus infinity to infinity f of x p g x bar d x which is f p g. Therefore, p is self adjoint and in case of the q if we look at q f of g this is equal to minus infinity to infinity f prime of x then this is g x bar d x. Now, if f is in the source space, so now by doing the integration by parts what we get is that this is the first quantity f of x g of x minus infinity to infinity it is going to be 0. So, by integration by parts we get this is f of x and then g prime of x bar d x which is nothing but uh, minus of f of q g. So, therefore, q star is equal to minus of q. Now, what we would like to derive uh, uh, the Heisenberg uncertainty principle using these two fundamental operators. So, now towards that end let us define the Hormite operator. which essentially is uh, I will define L f of x this is equal to minus f double prime of x plus x square f of x applying p and q uh, twice what we are going to get q star and p twice we will get this operator that is the Hermite operator. Okay, so, now what we will show that first the Heisenberg uncertainty principle principle will imply that L f f this is greater or equal to f f for all f in the source space. So, now uh, let us uh, write in order to apply the Heisenberg uncertainty principle let us assume integral minus infinity to infinity mod f x square d x this is equal to 1 then only we are uh, going to apply Heisenberg uncertainty principle. So, now let us uh, look at left hand side which is L f f. So, this by definition is minus infinity to infinity minus f double prime of x plus x square f of x this is L f and then uh, by inner product definition the f x bar d x. So, this is minus infinity to infinity 
minus f double prime of x f bar of x plus minus infinity to infinity x square mod of f of x square dx. Okay. So, now if I if we do perform the integration by parts then uh, the first one f prime of x into f of x minus infinity to infinity is going to vanish then uh, so what then minus minus will be plus so this will be minus infinity to infinity f prime of x and then this is derivative of that is f prime of x bar dx plus this is so this is mod of we can so this is nothing but minus infinity to infinity mod of f prime of x square dx plus minus infinity to infinity x square mod of f of x square dx. Okay. So, then by using the Planserol theorem, what we will get that this is 4 pi square integral minus infinity to infinity j square plus into mod of f at j square dj, the first one and then plus minus infinity to infinity x square mod of f of x square dx. Now, this is uh, a square plus b square then this is going to be uh, greater or equal to uh, 2ab. So, therefore, this is going to be greater or equal to 2 times this is 2 pi minus infinity to infinity uh, j square mod of f hat of j square dj whole to the power 1 half into integral minus infinity to infinity x square mod of f of x square dx whole to the power 1 half. Now, we are assuming that the Heisenberg uncertainty principle is true. Therefore, this is greater or equal to uh, 4 pi into 1 over 4 pi. So, which is equal to 1, which is nothing but f f, because we are assuming that uh, the integral mod f square dx is going to be equal to 1. Okay, now, if g is a Schwarz class, uh, f is any arbitrary Schwarz class function, not the uh, integral is 1, then the standard trick define uh, let define g is equal to f by norm. Uh, so, what do I mean by that? This is equal to minus infinity to infinity mod of f of x square dx whole to the power 1 over 2. So, therefore, as you can see that integral minus infinity to infinity mod of g of x square dx which is equal to 1. Therefore, we can apply uh, we know that L g g in our product this is greater or equal to g and g. This will imply that L f by norm f and f by norm f in our product is greater than f by this L is a linear operator. So, you can pull it out. So, this is L f f
So, this shows that if Heisenberg prin uncertainty principle hold, then this is going to be true. Now, how to prove th the question is that how to prove the Heisenberg uncertainty principle using these two fundamental operators. Okay, so, as usual we have defined let us say A is equal to uh, A f of x, this is equal to f prime of x that is q of f and x f x the p of f. Then as we have noticed A star, this is going to be equal to minus of f prime of x plus x f x. Therefore, and now you look at A A star of f, this is going to be A or rather A star of A if I want to look at A star then acting on A f this is equal to A star acting on A f is f prime plus x f. Now, A star is equal to minus of f prime is f double prime. So, rather I will let us write one more step minus of f prime plus x f prime plus x f prime plus x f. So, this is equal to minus of f double prime and then the x, x prime is plus f plus x f prime, this is the first one plus x f prime plus x square of f. Now, this is equal to minus of f double prime and plus x square of f, x f prime minus and this is plus will go away minus of f. This is nothing but L minus of i acting on f. This is what is our A star A f. So, thus if we are assuming that, uh, uh, so now you can see that A star of uh, A f and g this is equal to integral over a star a f at x g of x bar d x minus infinity to infinity which is equal to uh, I will first write down the definition of A star, then this is going to be minus of uh, A f prime of x plus x time A f of x whole into g of x bar d x. So, if we do integration by parts, you look at that minus of A f prime is minus of A f into g bar of x which vanishes, then what we will get is that minus of infinity to infinity A f of x and then g prime of x bar d x. And for the next one, what we have got is that this is integral minus infinity to infinity uh, a f of x, then x g x bar d x. So, this is minus infinity to infinity a f of x into g prime of x plus x g of x this whole bar of 
d x which is equal to a f and then this is a g that is what we have claimed this is the linear algebra 1 what we are proving it. So, therefore, thus a uh, star f a f of f this is equal to a f a f which is greater or equal to 0. Okay. So, now you define uh, so, so, as a consequence what we have got is that uh, L minus i f inner product of f that is greater or equal to 0. So, diff now what we want, want to prove the Heisenberg uncertainty principle. So, for that define a t for any t positive you define a t f of x. f prime of x any t real number so plus t x f of x and therefore just as before one can say that this is a t star form would be minus of f prime of x plus t x f of x. Now, what we know is that a t star of a t of f comma f this is greater or equal to 0 because this is nothing but the norm of a t of f and uh, a t star of a t of f this at x this if we do simple calculation. Uh, then what we will get that this is equal to minus of a t of f prime at x plus t x a t of x. So, you will just take the derivative. So, what is a t of f prime at x? This is equal to f prime plus t x f whole prime uh, this is equal to f double prime plus t f derivative with respect to f and plus t uh, x f prime and then if we, we are adding this to so this is minus therefore a t star a t f at x this is equal to minus of f prime plus t f of x plus t x f prime of x plus t x into f prime of x plus a t is again t x f of x. So, this is equal to minus of f double prime of x plus t f of x plus t x f prime of x plus t x uh, f prime of x plus t square x square f of x. Now, here there are the minus signs over here this is minus, this is minus, minus, minus. So, then this is minus of f double prime of x uh, minus t f of x this gets cancelled and plus t square x square f of x. Now, this is a quadratic equation uh, uh, on t. So, now if I look at a t star a t f or inner product of f 
this we know that this is greater or equal to 0. So, this is uh, t square and then x square f f inner product uh, from this and then minus t f f inner product um, and then minus f double prime uh, and f this is greater or equal to 0. Now, this is a quadratic equation and on t which is greater or equal to 0. Therefore, what we have got is that 1 minus 4 uh, a is f c is uh, f double prime of f this is greater or equal to 0. So, this will imply that x square f inner product of f multiplied by f double prime of f this is greater or equal to 1 by 4 and again so, this will imply uh, that integral minus infinity to infinity x square mod of f of x square dx and then what we have uh, uh, got is uh, uh, multiplied by minus infinity to infinity mod of f, uh, f this is f double prime of x and f of x dx is greater or equal to 1 by 4. Now, this implies that minus infinity to infinity x square f of x square dx. Now, if we do again integration by parts, the uh, what we are going to get is that this is minus infinity to infinity uh, f uh, prime of x square dx this is greater or equal to 1 by 4 and uh, then this will imply that minus infinity uh, to infinity x square mod f x square d x and this is nothing but minus infinity to infinity 4 j square if I take it out then this is by Planck's rule which would be greater 1 by 4 pi square is coming out 4 pi square that is so Heisenberg uncertainty principle we can get it down. Thank you.